I wanted to make a quick response to your video and give you my impression of the mood of the country right now. Um, I think you're mistaken when you think that, um, that the contest in Massachusetts is a referendum on progressive ideas because when it comes down to it, there are a lot of progressive ideas that Obama campaigned for and actually won the election on that have not been implemented, that have actually fallen quite flat. Um, it appears to many as though there's very little difference between Republicans and Democrats nowadays, that they put on this kabuki theater and it's all for show, but at the end of the day, they're still in the thrall of lobbyists and they do their bidding and they're all on the same team. It's it's the lobbyists and the special interests against the citizens of the United States of America. And the people in government are they're on the side of the lobbyists. They supply the money as long as they can they can raise enough cash to keep fooling the American people, well they're fine with that. That seems to be winning, so um, it's unfortunate because not every Democrat is like that. And unfortunately because we've got so many Republicans still present it makes it so much easier for the few Democrats who are held in the thought of lobbyists to hold sway and to make things more difficult for progressives to shine through uh, when they really need to. There are good Democrats who really are fighting hard to combat the special interests that are in Washington. But, you know, you know Lieberman, for example, is not one. <laughs> He's not even close. Right, Lehman is a corrupt scumbag, and uh, hopefully Connecticut will throw him out the next opportunity they have. Um, so, you know, if you want to take it as a referendum on progressive ideas, I think, frankly, that would be a big mistake, because we haven't had many progressive ideas take root uh, during the Obama administration, contrary to all his campaign promises, and it's been very, very difficult with the obstructionist Republicans and the few Democrats that uh, are corrupt by the lobbyists. But, you know, it's going back to the Republicans. The Republicans are completely shameless about accepting money from lobbyists. And, you know, the conservative Supreme Court actually wants to lift all restrictions on campaign financing. You know, they, they, for a Republican, you know, Money equals free speech, you know? You say, I have money, why can't I spend it on anything I want? Why can't I give it to anyone I want, you know? To them, that's their freedom for the powerful to affect the world in the ways in which benefit them and not worry so much about how it corrupts the system and how it makes everyone else miserable, so. Um, so that's all I'm going to say for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.